Okay, do you truly understand what you're reviewing, understanding your medical records? The reason why I'm sharing this video is because a lot of times when people are going through the disability process, they're forced to be put in a position where they're trying to get an understanding of their medical records. Let's be real, majority of us who are, more, majority of you that are going through disability or applying for disability, have you've never gone to medical school. And I'm not going to sit here and say I have, because I haven't, but I have seen uh, thousands of pages of medical records. And I always tell people, be very careful when looking at your medical records. Understand what they say. Um, the typical format for medical records is, is the SOAP format, which is the subjective, which is one of the complaints, the objective findings, the assessment by the doctor, and what the plan is to correct that situation, S-O-A-P. Sometimes what happens is we look at the medical records and we get fixated on a particular thing that we believe is significant. A couple of things that you need to understand. One, Social Security is looking at all of your records as a whole. So don't get bogged down into this whole notion that because one particular doctor has said something or you believe you've interpreted that to mean something of significant, that that should weigh and rule the day because that's not always the case. Here's the other thing you need to understand. When you're reviewing these medical records, the moment you recognize that you don't understand what you're looking at, you need to look at getting some help. I know people on here, I've had people post and say, oh, he's an attorney, he's all about trying to get that dollar, dollar bill, y'all. I'm like, yes, yes, mic drop, I'm not gonna lie. That's, I am in the business of making money, just like any other professional. But I always tell people this when they come to me because I've, you know, I've done these videos for a long time. And part of the reason why I do these videos is to try to give you some useful information, not advice, but information to help you along the way. And part of the information I want you to be aware of is this. You don't know it all. You know your condition. You know your symptoms. But the simple fact of the matter is, is that you may not realize that what you're looking in the medical, what documents you're looking at, if the information in that particular document is as supportive as you think or as, as damning as you think. If you don't know or you're not 100% sure of one, what that document actually says when you're looking at it, when you're looking at a CT, CAT scan, nerve conduction study, um, you know, echo, MRI, x-ray, if you can't tell from looking at that document in of itself what that means, as it relates to your diagnosis in terms of severity level, you might want to ask for some help. If you don't know how that's going to relate to other medical records that you have in your file, you might want to ask for some help. I know this sounds like I'm belittling you. I am not trying to say that at all. And I'm not saying you can't do this on your own. There are a lot of people out there who've gotten disability benefits on their own. But I applaud each and every one of you for doing it. My thought is, it's always going to be to you, if you're not sure what the hell you're looking at, ask for some help.